Hey guys, and welcome back to the final part of the walkthrough. This is Rocket Knight Adventures, and we're at stage 6. And we start off right in space. <laughs> With pig heads flying around. If you kill all of them, you actually get an apple right there. Apples in space, breathing in space. This game defies logic, and I love it. That's what retro gaming is all about, guys. Most of them defy logic. And if you hit those red um, pigs, you get apples as well. Look at that. Space turds flying right at you. <laughs> if you get um, the ones with the rockets, like the ones with the flames behind them, you actually want to kill them because they will fire missiles at you. The other ones are just decoys and they get in your way. And you can get hit by them, by the way. I think you lose two stars, so. Two stars, two hearts. Do, 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 do. Oh, this little mini game here. If you get the asteroids, you get apples. If you get a pig, you get pigs. Look at this guy here. He's kind of creepy. He always creep me out with those weird eyes and that mouth. Look at him. <laughs> he has like a pokeball with, with like blades around it. Pretty dangerous pokeball. He actually throws it at you. Watch. Go, Chikorita. Use your razor life. <laughs> Let's kill this guy. He's creeping me out. Really interesting design. I'm trying to still understand what he is. Well, he's dead. <laughs> this game again. Yay, more apples. We need those. Isn't this intense? We're like in space, y'all. We're fighting it. Oh, God, this guy. Look what he does. What? <laughs> he just killed him. I love how he's smiling. Look at him when he burns things. Burn, baby, burn. Just keep hitting him. Uh, this segment here, you want to get rid of him instead of the pigs. Because it won't end until you beat him. Oh, oh he's going to come back. He's coming back, guys. He's going to kill us with his big laser beam. So intense. Oh, God, I'm losing a lot of stars. I keep saying stars, hearts. Why am I saying stars? Why do I have stars in my head? There we go. We beat him. By the way, if you died at any of these parts, you'd be, like, you'd respawn right at the beginning. Oh, I got... I needed asteroids. Shoot. We're gonna do the boss with one heart and a half. Uh, I'm probably gonna die. But let's see if I could do it. Let's just try. This boss is so weird. Like, I don't know why I find him so strange. I just don't understand. <laughs> why does he use propellers in space? By the way, look at that little pig emblem in the middle of the, the machine. <laughs> look at his eyes. It's like... Dude, we're in space. <laughs> I remember as a... Oh, oh no. Only have half a heart. Oh my god, this is intense. By the way, I always used to look at that cockpit, and I always used to thought... Like, I always used to think there was like a small guy in it, but it's just like machinery. But I always thought there was like a mini pilot. <laughs> so, we're not really... We can't... Now, now we can start... Oh god. Now we can... Now we can start doing damage. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to make it. Ah, uh, that sucks. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad we're spawning back at the boss and I didn't get too far, but I could beat him definitely with all these hearts. And if you get hit by him, like if you touch him, you lose four stars. Uh, I keep saying stars. Why? What's wrong with me? Well, anyways, you lose four hearts if you touch the, the cockpit. So don't touch, not the cockpit, the, the, uh, the ship. Man, I'm, I'm mixing words today like there's no tomorrow, guys. My mind's scrambling. It's probably all these weird lights. I'm getting a seizure here. Uh, uh, I can't handle the light. <laughs> so just keep getting him. You could uh, destroy those um, turrets if you want. It makes your life much easier, which I'm going to do right now. Or otherwise, it's going to be bullet hill. So uh, you want to just destroy this right here. There you go. Now the next part of the ship. It's his jaw. You kind of want to angle it right underneath. It's kind of annoying because he'll actually charge at you, so you want to be careful with that. And he'll go up. Yeah. He's a little annoying. What you kind of want to do, actually, is stay up so he goes up, right? You see that? He's going up now. That's what you want to do. So now this is the last part before we get to the second main phase of this boss, which is much harder, I think. I call this phase Wacky Legs. 
<laughs> You'll see why I call it wacky legs. So his main um, weak point is his it's his balls, to be honest. You'll see. You want to dodge this laser beam here. And it's that ball. Just hit it once, and he'll go wacky. His wacky legs are spinning around. And just rinse and repeat. And eventually, uh, I think it's four, four hits and he'll die. So it's a bit tedious. And if you only have like a few hearts left from your, uh, you know, from the previous part of the battle, he, he could be really hard because this attack here takes a lot of screen space. Like the hitbox is huge. Well, rather, the collision box is pretty huge, so you can easily get hit. Whoa, what, what's going on there? What's going on? What happened there? Sorry, guys. That was wacky. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in. That was pretty funny. Sorry about that. Battle's still going on. Let's hit him again. And we beat him. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that was really crazy. And there's Rocket Knight looking all smug. <laughs> and we're going to the last part. The last level. Try next area. Whoa, what do we got here? The Pig Star. Doesn't that look familiar, guys? <coughs> Star Wars. <coughs> Stage 7. The final level. <laughs> Are you guys excited? We're almost here. <sighs> Anyways, I remember when I first um, got here, I was so scared because I didn't know what was going to hit me. I didn't know what was coming. This guy, he's a pain in the ass. You know this guy, the Pig King, or I call him Muppet. Just keep using your charge attack. He's really intimidating. He's actually really annoying. Just keep using your charge attack. Don't be afraid. And now, what's going on here? What? He's a cyborg? Twist. Giant twist. I remember when I first saw that, I was like, what? But I thought he was like the big boss. Nope. Who's really behind this? Well, you guys are going to find out. It's kind of a, it's kind of actually cool. It, it's, what I really love about these old games is like, you know, they didn't really have, you know, I mean, they had story elements, but they weren't really explained. So a lot of the time, I would just figure that, figure it out for myself and create my own stories. Look at them. There's an army of these guys. These pig kings. I like how they're... <laughs> Look how he charges at you with his hands in the air. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Look at him. Let's dance. Yeah, let's boogie tonight. <laughs> yeah, if you want to kill him, just a charge attack and then hit him with your sword. And that'll kill him. And it almost killed me. For some reason, it takes a delay for them to blow up. Oh, what do we got here, guys? It's... Rocket Knight's Nemesis. This is an epic atmosphere, isn't it? Having a final duel on this battleship in space? I mean, come on. This is cinematic. This guy, like, goes crazy with acrobats. All you really gotta do is just dodge his attack and use your blades against his because it actually deflects like that. So you just want to be basically spamming your attack and getting out of the way of where he lands. Really not hard. Really not hard at all. Just keep doing that. Like that. And you kind of want to have as much hearts as you can because the second phase is really... Like, it's really hard to dodge everything. Like, I always had trouble dodging... Um, the second phase. Look at this, guys. He tore the fucking wall. Oh, oh. This music's epic. Hit him. You'll throw rockets at you. And it's annoying, too, because when you get hit, you'll drop. And you'll die instantly if you drop all the way to the bottom. Where is he? Get him. Shoot. He's not that hard. He really isn't. Get him. Did I beat him? Oh yeah, he's dead. And there he goes. No, we, we didn't beat him. I thought we did. I forgot how this works. I haven't done this battle in ages. Just keep getting him. And he shows... Oh, this is his second phase. Right. 
He doesn't use bullets, now he just tries to attack you, which is actually easier to dodge for some reason, I personally think. Bang. Just keep just keep using your charge attacks, guys. We almost got this guy. Don't be afraid. I, I think this is the hard, uh, the easiest part of the battle, to be honest. And we beat him. Everything turned black and white. How epic is that? Sparkles. Now just get in here. And let's see who's behind all of this. Oh, more, more mechs. You see, it, 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 it takes like a while for them to blow up. One, hit, then, then he blows up. <laughs> dance, dance like you just don't care. I do not want to die. And I'm going to die. But it's okay because I'm going to respawn in this part. And I'm okay with that. This is such a weird... Look at the background. Isn't it cool? It has this weird... I don't really understand what it is, but it's cool. It looks 3D. I see Saturn in the background there. We're in space. This is so cool. Whoa, four hearts. Jeez. So now we're in the gravity room. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. There. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I remember this. You want to jump from here and then there you go and now the final boss the pig core look at this guy he's the guy behind all of everything he was controlling the king well he was basically the king he was creating an army of them um this guy's a pain in the ass you basically want to hit the big red ball the pimple sticking out of him. Ow. Nope. I'm gonna die. This guy's annoying. I remember I had so much trouble, but I was so excited that I finally got here. Do, do, do. I remember I was like trying to figure out what he was and what, what this whole thing is about. So I just create my own story. And my whole thing is that that pig king probably transmitted as a sub... Well, transmitted his subconscious to this pig core thing a while back and wa probably wanted to live forever as this machine. But that was just my own imagination creating its own, you know, filling in the gaps of the story because I had no idea what the fuck was going on. That's what I love about games like this, you know, just create your own, fill in your own gaps. And I'm gonna die anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, I died. <laughs> God damn it. It's okay. It's okay. We're doing this. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him and I get smashed. Surprisingly, you don't take that much damage, though. Only half a heart. It's really annoying trying to get that stupid red pimple thing. Come here. Come on. Come on, you silly pig. It's always easier when it appears on the side. Got him. I really hate this guy. By the way, um... In the settings, if you guys put it on children, you won't get an extra sequence in the game. So I'm just putting that out there. Play it on easy or normal and you'll get that sequence, but if it's on children, you'll miss it. Out. You'll be missing out on it. And I remember as a kid, like, I beat this game first on children, and it was like, at the end of the game, it, was, it says like something along the lines of, you haven't destroyed all the evil, and I was like, what? And it's like, try on normal or easy, and then I finally did, and I'm like, oh, snap, what's going on here? Oh, there it is. There's a big attention there. He has all these uh, weird different attacks. Really not that hard, actually, now that I think about it. I kind of find... Um, the boss I had the most trouble at, with as a kid and was always nervous about was that pig, the, the pig mech that I fought with your rival. I don't know why. I always had so much trouble with that boss. I found him the hardest. Uh-oh, music's getting... Music getting intense. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we got this. He's not that hard, and I get hit. No, I'm not dying. I'm not dying to you again. No way. I'm taking you out, pig core. I'm taking you out. Keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him. I love this music. It's the this it's the sub -bot, it's the sub boss music, but it's like really really fast. <sighs> Where are you? I got your zit right here. Oh, I got it. I got it. 
Nice, 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 nice. Come on. We got this guy. We got this guy. Is he dead? No. We got him. I think he's dead. Come on. No. <laughs> no! 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 Just die! Yes! We beat him. We beat the boss. Where's he going? <gasps> he teleported away. I remember as a kid I didn't get that when I first beat him. Like, oh, I guess he died? But no. No. See, there's an extra sequence here. And if it's on children, you're not going to get the sequence. So, play it on easy or normal. Because you're about to see something pretty badass. Oh. Pigstar is about to explode. See that? See those two stars? Something's chasing us. Oh, that's awesome. That's so satisfying. But guys, check out one of my favorite sequences. This part here, you really have to be careful because if you die, you will have to start this boss all over again. And I heard that the fucking hard way. So yeah, this segment here, this is not available on children mode, so dodge his attacks. You do not want to die because you do not want to do that boss again. Anyways, uh, this segment's pretty cool though. Look at him. He is completely batshit right now and wants to kill you. Just keep dodging and something cool is going to happen. <laughs> Look at him. Let me whack you around, Sparkstar. <laughs> Alright. So, this game actually does have some logic. Um, you could breathe in space, but, I mean, look at this. There's actual atmosphere. See how you're burning up? Guess what's gonna happen, guys? We're burning up in the atmosphere. What's gonna happen to him, guys? He's gonna burn up too, but he's not gonna last. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Oh, thank God. Uh. Oh, it's done. There we are. By the way, this is the segment where it would say that there was, there was still some evil left behind if you played it on uh, children mode, so... Yeah. We got the true ending. There's the senile king. <laughs> Look at him. Worried. Ah, you brought back my wife! I'm your daughter. You're my wife! <laughs> but I'm your daughter. He's just backing away like, this is really awkward. I'm getting the hell out of here. But Sparkster, stay for dinner. Nope. You're crazy, old man. And I want nothing to do with you and your weird daughter. <laughs> and we beat the game. Here's the credits. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough as much as I did. Um... This is one of my favorite games on the Genesis. I hope I spark your interest. Uh, <laughs> pun intended. Hope you're, I hope I spark your interest in the game. And I hope you guys play this game or its sequels. Um, there's another sequel on the Genesis, which is very different, and it's not as great as this one. But there's a very good one on the Super Nintendo called Sparkster. So try that one out. Great game. Da, 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 da. I don't think I'm going to show the credits because that's going to just take a lot of time. But it's just him leaving, pondering of what just happened. I don't get it. I was in space, breathing, fighting a pig army, and then a giant sphere pig core. What is this all about? I don't get it. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to sign off. Glad you uh, watched my walkthrough. Thank you very much. And uh, see you guys in the future for more Let's Plays. Right now I'm going to stay on the Genesis. Later on I'll move into other consoles. See you guys.